So I work for a bad group in France, in the region of uh, Auvergne. Uh, and so we are studying uh, bats with, uh, thanks to Bat House in a, in a big forest called Troncé uh, since uh, 18 years. So we'll introduce you some tips about, uh, about bat houses. So um, I'm a little anxious, sorry. Um, so um, the Troncé Forest is in Région Auvergne, the most beautiful place in France and in Europe. Um, so it is in the north of Auvergne, in the middle of France. Um, so um, it is uh, the Atlantic Biogeo Biogeographic Area in the Oce uh, Oceanic Climb, and it's a plain forest. Uh, we, are in, in, we are at uh, an average altitude of 250 uh, meters. Um, some characteristic about this forest, so it's a big woodland. Uh, we have uh, the, the forest cover uh, 10,000. 10,000 and uh, 1,500 uh, hectares, with uh, a lot of pounds in it. Um, about the forest stand, it's uh, in, in a great majority uh, an oak grove with uh, Quercus petrea and some other, other species. And uh, the, it's a state-owned uh, forest, and it's, uh, all the management is done by the National Forest Office. And the main goal is uh, the wood production. It's uh, one of the first uh, income for France of, uh, for wood production. So there are a lot of trees uh, cutting down. Okay. Um, an overview about bat uh, interest in Troncé. Uh, we have a, a big diversity for the same place. We have in Troncé forest 22 species. So it's uh, quite uh, amazing. Uh, we have 29 species in Auvergne and 35 in France. So great diversity. Uh, interest in hibernation, there is a lot of uh, forest, little forest aqueduct. Um, so uh, there is a lot of Barbastella barbastellus in, in this aqueduct uh, on winter. It's the major national staff for the, the species. And in summertime, uh, thanks to radio track, we have uh, more than uh, it's 2,000 two root roost roost trees, it's difficult for me, uh, we, uh, we have been, which have been discovered uh, in, the, in the forest. Um, and we have uh, one of the major uh, maternity of uh, Myotis Myotis. Uh, so a big forest and a lot of bats. Uh, so the subject is the bat house uh, monitoring. So uh, uh, all the bat house Houses were installed uh, in 1997. Uh, about 60 bat boxes were installed. Uh, and they are um, divided into eight different sectors. Uh, more, it's, uh, we have ch chosen more or less mature timberland. Uh, we have sectors uh, where, where trees have, uh, have 100 years old. And for the youngest and for the most mature, we have uh, trees uh, of uh, 300 years old. So it's uh, pretty attractive for, for bats. Um, okay, 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 okay. Yes, and we put, uh, as everybody, we put uh, the bat houses at uh, five, five meters of eight. So it, we, contr we check in, uh, thanks to a scale, and so uh, we have to... To, to drive and uh, the, the access had to be easy. So we have uh, three different models of bat houses as everyone, Schwegler, Boulet and Swaddell. A lot of Schwegler to, to F. Some, uh, some elements about methodology. Uh, we, we saved the observation uh, since uh, 18 years uh, in a database file. Uh, where one bat, uh, one bat house has uh, his individual form. Uh, so we remark everything we, we watch in the box. Uh, if there is a bat drops, the quantity and the type, uh, if there is reproduction clues, uh, and the bat we, we see. And also the wildlife, because uh, as you say, there is a lot of other mammals or, or birds uh, seen in the, in the house, in the bat house. Um, 
just to notice, we, we don't practice uh, ringing. In France, uh, it's uh, tab uh, taboo uh, because of big mortality uh, 50, 50 years ago. Uh, so we don't do ringing, and it's a pity because we, we, we have a lot of bats, but we can't say if it's the same bat or if it, so it's a, it's a pity, but maybe uh, now it's more, um, more accepted in France, so maybe we can, we can do. And uh, yes, uh, we, we, plug, uh, we plug our bat houses to avoid the nest of birds, because we don't like birds, we just like bats. And so these houses are for, are for bats, and so we, we go uh, between May and June, we go to the bat house to plug the, with, with rag, rags. Uh, then we do, uh, in the course of one year, we do uh, two checkings. Uh, one in July and one in September, and then uh, in winter we go to uh, to plug uh, to plug the the, the bat houses uh, if they are empty, of course, uh, and then we continue. Yeah. So to to let's speak about attendance evolution about uh, this uh, monitoring. Uh, you have this the. Um, the number of uh, bat houses uh, where bats were observed. Uh, so it's uh, the sum uh, of uh, the numerous passages we do in one year. Uh, so you have a lot of, of uh, a big number, but it's four passages in a, in a year. Uh, so it, the, the occupation rate is increasing uh, with time. Um, there's a, uh, you, you see a peak in 2009, but uh, it was a year where uh, we, we, we do the monitoring with uh, several uh, con uh, checking, so uh, more, more bats have been, have been seen. Um, if, we, if we take into account uh, bat houses where, where only uh, dr bat droppings uh, in it, uh, it is the same tendency, uh, an increase. We can uh, explain this, uh, this uh, increase because uh, of the, the knowledge of the bats about this, uh, this, um, these boxes. Uh, or maybe, and uh, unfortunately, because uh, in the, the, the management of the forest is more and more uh, 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 young, young, young uh, they cut down a lot of trees, and so maybe the roost offer is decreasing, and so the, back, the boxes are, are appreciated. I don't know. About the bad stuff counted uh, in, uh, in, in the houses, it is uh, the same thing. Uh, the, the three, three four, uh, first years, uh, there's a, a lot of coloni co coloni colonization, uh, a, a lot of uh, big increasing, and then uh, for 2001 until 2009, uh, there's peak and, peaks and falls, but globally it's uh, it's stable. And unfortunately, uh, since uh, 2009, we, we have a, a big decrease. So I don't know. And let's speak about, um, yeah, <laughs> the photo is cool. <laughs> let's speak about uh, bad spaces we, we have seen into, uh, into boxes since 18 years. Uh, the most uh, frequent species in bat houses is uh, Nectalus noctula. It's uh, a species which, which, which is uh, also frequ frequent in the, in the forest. Uh, Nectalus leisleri. Myotis Bechteni and Plecotus oritus are very abundant in the Tronce forest, and we have them in the bat houses. You can come to, to see them if you want. And, um, and the, the, there is a maternity for, for those two species. Uh, Pipistrelus, Pipistrelus is everywhere in Tronce. If, we, if you go with a detector, you have it. And it's annoying, but no, but no, we don't have it in two bad house. Don't know. And uh, Barbastella barbastellus is also very frequent, and see uh, two or two or three times in two bad house. 
So Nictalus noctulas, uh, as la, like I said, the more frequent species observed in, uh, in boxes. Uh, the species uh, appreciate especially bat houses in autumn and for hibernation. Uh, in January, we, we had uh, 50 specimens, uh, 50 individuals in the same, uh, same box in January. Uh, in the summer times, I, there, is, uh, there is just a uh, Nictalius noctula in a few, few staff and for sh very short periods. Uh, okay. So Nictalius laisleri, uh, until 2009, we have it regularly in a few, few staff, but regularly uh, in summertime. And, uh, and since 2009, like the global tendency, we, it's uh, decreasing. About uh, Myotis bechtenii, uh, so a very frequent uh, species in Transe Forest when we do a catching or, or a capture, capture catching, or to detector, you have it a lot of time. Um, two different colonies uh, were contacted in, uh, in our box, boxes. And uh, since uh, 20 years, uh, thanks to radio, radio, track, track, radio tracking, uh, a lot of uh, roosters trees has, have been discovered for the, the species. And there's a lot of uh, roost trees uh, just next to the boxes. Uh, and we have colony in the box, and then two days later in the roost trees. So boxes have been have been integrated to the network of the, of the, uh, the Besteni. And on the Besteni, a ringing program as, uh, at the beginning uh, this summer with Laurent Tillon of the uh, forest, uh, National Forest Office. So maybe we can have a lot of things to, to say on this species, I hope. And Plecotus oritus, uh, a very frequent species, um, it, use, uh, it uses the bat box uh, very early in the spring, in March, uh, and until autumn with observation in October, at the end of, uh, of October. There is uh, two colonies have been, uh, uh, two colonies were followed into, into uh, bat houses, but uh, this in, uh, in 2011 we lost it, and for, for four years, now we go to the boxes and we just see the drop, uh, with, we, which look like plecotus, but we don't see them. So maybe they they want they don't want to they don't want us to to see them. I don't know. I'm done. It's very short presentation. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Jean, Jeanne, Pascal, Sylvie, and Alain and Rémy because uh, I'm very young. They start the the, this monitoring, I was nine years old, so <laughs> it is by and thanks, uh, thanks to them and all the, the bat lovers uh, in Auvergne. Thank, thank you. I hope you understand one world. <laughs> but, okay, thank you. Thank you, Helwas. Are there any questions in the room? Herman? Um, <clears throat> nice presentation, an interesting idea to plug the bats roosts, but unplugging them in May and June, isn't that quite late in the bat season? Uh, we, my friends uh, <laughs> uh, tested uh, a lot of different periods uh, and they have a, a big knowledge of their forests and of uh, birds and it is uh, for I don't know the, lat the Latin words for par parus major and okay it and yeah maybe and it's uh, it is uh, the moment to to plug off because the uh, nidification the, the making of nest is is uh, is done so uh, we have tested a lot of of uh, date but it's perfect. Other questions, Sven. Um, there is a, a sudden drop in, in the numbers, um, especially in the nocturnal beds uh, in the three years, the, the latest three years, I guess. Um, do you know if this could be related to, to the, the heavy cutting of trees 
or do you have no clue at all of the reason why the animals disappeared? Okay, can you repeat because I, I think I don't understand. Um, there is a, a drop in the numbers of, uh, of nocturnal bats in the bat boxes. Yeah. Do you think there is maybe a relation between the, the, the cutting of the trees? So maybe they, they cut at important roost trees? Or do you think there is another reason um, for the, the dropping of the numbers? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's difficult to say because uh, the management of the forest is uh, different since uh, 10 years, 20 years. So maybe it's too soon to, to have a look uh, on the consequences. And uh, there is uh, still a lot of roost trees in Troncé. It's a really big forest, so maybe it's decreasing, but there is uh, still a lot of. And for Nictalus noctula, uh, since the, the start of the monitoring, we got it. So The, for Nictalis noctula, there is no uh, tendency for increase or decrease. It's, it's, it's a relative increase, but no, no something very big, so I don't know. But again, maybe ringing bats uh, could, uh, answer all the, could answer all the, this question, because we, we think a lot of, of things, but we can prove it, so... Some more questions, Pierrette? Regarding with all the other monitoring methods you apply in the Tronce Forest, could you say that the bat box is a good one to monitor some species? Uh, to monitor population, local population maybe. Uh, I think for, for Nictalus noctula, um, but it's Uh, especially in hibernation, but for, for Myotis Bechteni in Trancé, uh, boxes are, are maybe, the monitoring of, of boxes are may, is maybe a, a good way to, to study population, but it's uh, without uh, the knowledge of other roost trees and the monitoring of other roost trees, it's impossible because you have just one maternity for three days. Uh, so I think it's just a uh, Uh, things to do uh, in plus. Uh, in, uh, it's a, it's a, a clue, but it's not a, one program to have a, a look on the population. But it's a really good clue uh, to, um, to to ajouter, to to <laughs> to have in in more of the of the of the other knowledge. I I think my answer is really bad, but uh, you understand maybe. But. Okay. okay, next question, Frédéric. En français. Radio tracking study were done in this forest also, I think. And do you have an estimation which proportion of the bats goes in the natural tree holes and which proportion goes in the um, in your bat box? Oh, no, we can no. quantify this because... Uh, We, we know well the bats in Trancé, but uh, the species and uh, the site of maternity, the site of hibernation, but not the quantity. We don't have a, a, a number. Uh, we have, um, we have no pre precise number for Myotis Myotis or Babastella, but uh, Bechtini and all those, uh, those species, we, we don't have a, a number, so we can, we can say. But uh, for, for Bechtini and Plecotus, Before uh, 2011, uh, uh, the, the maternity we have in boxes are very um, mobile and, uh, and have the, the network of the... But in proportion, I, I don't know. It's too difficult to quantify, I think. Okay, Matt, you still had a question? Over what sort of area are the boxes distributed? So is it is a massive area or is it just a very small concentration? Uh, it's, I uh, don't know if it's, uh, no. Um, it's uh, in, the, in the south of the forest and it's, uh, I don't know, uh, it is uh, one per tree of the, of the total of the forest. You understand? Not. Um, it's, uh, all the sectors are in, uh, in the south of the forest because it is a more mature uh, land. And, uh, and 
when you when you do the sum of these sectors, it's a it's an area of I don't know uh, four four thousand hectares, something like that, and we we dispatch up after the, the sectors. Okay, are there still questions? I will take a last question. Anybody? Nobody? Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Heloise. <laughs>